Hey, check it out. I'm gonna take this $5 coffee table and this top of a hutch from the Broyhill Priscilla line of furniture, and I'm gonna combine them to make a curio cabinet. This little cabinet has a few flaws. Uh, there's some veneer chips on both sides, and the top has some flaws that I believe are flaws from the factory. First, I'm taking off the legs from this coffee table. I thought the legs were a little dark, so I'm using a toner to match them to the color of the, the hutch. Uh, it just takes a couple coats of uh, Mohawk's medium brown toner. Mohawk sent me some of their instant adhesive. I figured it'd be great to fix the veneer on the back, back side of the top. All you need to do is put the instant adhesive in there uh, and then clamp it in place. It dries pretty quick. Once I finished that, I unclamped it, turned it on its side so I could start installing classic mid-century tapered dowels. I used a combination square, marked 45 degrees from each corner, and then I mar marked a perpendicular line and did a mock-up with the legs to see where, where I could put them. Once I liked that position, I marked the holes. Once I had everything marked, I used, a, I used an eighth inch drill bit with some tape so I didn't drill too deep. Drilled out the holes. Then I installed the base of the mid-century legs. After I had the legs installed, I got this thing upright again, and I decided it was time to fix the veneer chips. Mohawk sent me their epoxy putty stick in a cherry light walnut color. It's already tinted to that color, so you don't need to mix any dyes with it. And it takes a stain. Basically cut off as much as you need from the stick, and then knead it with your fingers until it's all mixed up. Then you put it where you want it. I let it dry just a little bit. Then I use a putty knife to make it flat. I'm gonna let that dry overnight. Did this to both sides. Next up, I decided I was gonna use a sander to remove the finish. The Priscilla veneer can be sanded. It's not too thin, so you just gotta be careful when you're sanding veneer. You don't wanna go through it. You wanna keep the sander moving so you don't go through the veneer. Here you can see I, I'm having to clean off my sanding pad fairly often. I did this to both sides and then to the top. I started with a 120 grit and then I moved to 220 grit. Hand sanding with each one of those grits after I did the orbital sander. I used a gel stain, a walnut colored gel stain, the best match to the Broyhill Priscilla original factory finish color. Generously wiping on the stain, let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe it off. I decided the top was too light, so I did a second coat on the top after the first coat dried. It didn't really help too much, but we'll address that. Here I am back again with some toner. I figured a toner would help darken the top. Using Mohawk's medium brown, spraying evenly, it's darkening it just a little bit. I let that dry, and then I used Mohawk's Finisher's Choice lacquer and added several coats. Then I used a four-aught steel wool in between coats to knock down the edges. I put about four coats of lacquer on. Once everything was all dry, I hit it one more time with the steel wool, make sure it was nice and smooth. Take a look at how it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. You can't even notice where the veneer chips were. 